Welcome to another Lion's Table. This is Good Friday. It is the day Jesus gave his life for our deliverance from the law of sin and death. That makes us sons and heirs. God sent his son because he so loved the world, his creation. He had a plan which was to redeem those under the law that we might receive our adoption as sons and daughters. And because we are sons and daughters, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. So you are no longer a slave, but a child of God. And since you are, you are also an heir through God, the son of Jesus Christ. Galatians 4, 5 through 7. Knowing that and what Jesus did for us on the cross, we can either be joyous or sober or both, thinking about his sacrifice for us. And we can hardly imagine or don't want to imagine the kind of suffering that Jesus went through on our behalf. You know, we are called to suffer as he did. But what does that mean for us now? Does it mean we should also hang on a cross? No, not exactly, but we will suffer and we should because whenever we see someone in darkness, in pain and in sin, our heart goes out to them and we cry out, Abba, Father. In our, off, our, suffering, for, for, in our suffering for them, we ask God to also deliver them from the slavery of sin and from condemnation that often binds people to sin, thinking they can never escape it. Quite often, it's thinking that you cannot be forgiven. And that's exactly what Satan wants, to keep in you, you in sin and out of the body of Christ. Remember, folks, God is the God of all comfort. Reading 2 Corinthians 1, 4 through 6, who comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For just as the sufferings of Christ overflow to us, so also through Christ our comfort overflows. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it is for your comfort, which accomplishes in you patient endurance of the same sufferings. This from Romans chapter 8, verse 17. And if we are children, then we are heirs, heirs of God and co-heirs with Christ. If, we, if indeed we suffer with him, so that we may also be glorified with him. Here's one from 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 10. We always carry around in our body the death of Jesus, so that the life of Jesus may also be revealed in our body. Philippians 3.10 I want to know Christ in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings, being comforted to him in his death. Colossians 1.24 Now I rejoice in my sufferings for you, and I fill up in my flesh what is lacking in regard to Christ's affliction for the sake of his body, which is the church. 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 13. But rejoice that you share in the sufferings of Christ, so that you may be overjoyed at the revelation of his glory. Referring to his return. 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14. The natural man does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him. And he cannot understand them, because they are spiritually discerned. 1 Corinthians 4, 10. We are fools for Christ, but you are wise in Christ. We are weak, but you are strong. You are honored, but we are dishonored. 2 Corinthians 2, 15. For we are to God the sweet aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are, being, who are perishing. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 3. And even if our gospel is veiled, it is veiled to those who are perishing. Yes, the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing. But to us who are being saved, it is the power of God. Uh, 1 Corinthians 1 verse 18. And this is painful for us. It is our suffering. Yes, that there are those who are perishing knowing that and maybe not being able to reach them. Folks, you might have someone in your family that you are thinking of this very evening. Amen. And uh, we sh you should pray for them that they will, that the Lord will reveal himself to them and they will respond positively. The Holy Spirit will draw them 
And this, that today is a good day to do that. Remember, folks, Jesus did not come to condemn you, but to redeem you and to give you eternal life. Believe it. One day soon, we will be in his new world with him forever. Thank you so much for joining us on this Lions Table on this Good Friday. We thank you and bless you. We hope this message has been a blessing, and we invite you to join us again next time.